Hi Floss Tube, my name is Anne. It is Sunday the 18th of July 2021 on a very warm Sunday afternoon. Uh, my channel name is Stitchamajig and I welcome you all. I'd like to thank all my past, present and future subscribers um, for stopping by on such a lovely day. And um, I'd also like to send my heartfelt wishes to everybody over in Germany and the Netherlands. I cannot imagine how horrendous it must be for you at the moment. And I send my heartfelt wishes, as I'm sure everybody else does. Um, I just thought I'd jump on quickly this afternoon to do a quick floss tube as my daughter is out. Um, I've been stitching all morning and for some reason the design I'm working on I simply cannot count and I've had to frog so many things this morning I thought no put it down do a floss tube because you're not going to get much chance to do one for the rest of the week so um, it's just a short one today um, showing me my fully finished objects from the 90s and a few from current years that I've done and um, so let's get started oh another note i live on a major junction so if you hear sirens motorbikes cars or trains i cannot do anything about it and i do apologize as i say i've tried to do this 10 times now well, i haven't said i have in the last 10 times i, I can't i can't do it without all these noises because it's constant so train <laughs> Um, so it goes on all the time and so I do apologize and we just have to run with it so anyway I'll start my video by showing you um, a gift that my sister gave to me it was one of the last things she made when she, before she passed away and it's a sampler welcome me to my new home here in where I live currently so it was a nice little sampler um, again the frame fell off the wall or it got damaged whilst I moved here and the glass broke um, I don't know what this is I think there's some bleach or something has gone on there so I need to, to get it reframed um, and glass put in to protect it because I cherish this um, and it's got on the bottom handmade by Auntie M in 1991 and the reason why she's called Auntie M is because my daughter Kate my eldest um, couldn't say Marilyn so she was adopted as Auntie M uh, plus the fact that it was the Wizard of Oz and we all love the Wizard of Oz um, so yeah that was that was my sister's piece gifted to me back in 1991 lovely and then in my previous video I said my youngest daughter her first ever piece was a Cinderella uh, the Thomas Kincaid Cinderella and this is it Oh, perhaps you'd like to see it up the right way. <laughs> Sorry. Anyway, that's it. It was her first ever piece of cross stitch that she did. And uh, I think she did an amazing job because it's really quite intricate. And uh, the frame was purchased by my other daughter and she, it was just plain white so she took it and blinged it up a bit with the gold paint and the blue she painted all the little blue dots around the side so that was my daughter Elizabeth's first ever cross stitch and I think she did amazing and she's finished Lady and the Tramp which I showed you last week and she's also now doing another Disney one which I've charted for her myself so that's that one and then back in the when I was a child my mum used to love to go out in the spring and drive around Sandringham because in at Sandringham in the spring the roads are completely adorned with rhododendron flowers in purples pinks yeah, and white and we used to have to go every spring so that she could have a look at them so I found this design and it is called Rhododendron which I I stitched for her I don't have the pattern I can't remember what the pattern is but it's just like the the um, what is it Latin Rhododendron name at the bottom and it's stitched on uh, a linen 
Belfast linen. That used to hang up in her sitting room, which I've now got back because sadly both my parents have gone. So I have that now. So that's that one. And then her sitting room was painted in mint green. So I did another design for her. And again, I don't have the pattern for this, but this was another floral design. Just quite simple, but it used to hang up in her sitting room. Bearing in mind, these, these are some of my first ever cross stitch pieces. I think they're quite nice. I did venture into uh, more complicated designs as time went on. So that's that one. And then I did a winter scene for myself. I can't, I cannot find the pattern and I find it hard to believe that I've thrown it away because I just don't, I don't throw things away. And this is a nice winter scene with the boat on the lake and the, with the ice and the windmill and all the snow. We don't get a lot of snow here. Sometimes my son gets a lot more in Norfolk. This was professionally framed and these were the, this was the colour scheme. That was the colour of my carpet in the, in my old house. So that, that looked nice hanging up in my sitting room. And I wish I could find the pattern. I think it was a leisure arts or dimensions, maybe DMC, I don't know. It was back in the 80s, 90s. I'm going to lose more glass if I don't be careful. And then I ventured into Paula Vaughan and I did a camo of the past, which is this design. This chart is really old, 1987. And it's a bit tatty now, but I still have it. That's why I can't understand I haven't got the other designs on chart I must have them somewhere so that's that one and this is my finished piece which is um, quite detailed got all the shoes on the floor nice embroidered towel hanging over the or dress hanging over the door and all the items in the in the um, wardrobe and all the nice dresses so that was uh, that was probably about the second or third item that I finished back in the 90s and again this was professionally framed and I apologize for the glare so that was that one And then I did another Paula Vaughan, which is not that one, this one. And this one's called Let's Pretend. I don't know why it's called Let's Pretend. Let's pretend we're getting married, maybe? I don't know. I don't know. Anyway, so that was that one. And oh, these have got glass in, amazingly. I've just had to take them down off the wall, so I've given a quick dust. Um, and this one's got all like the Victorian floral wallpaper and floorboards and a pretty dress. I'd love to have been around in those times to wear nice dresses like that. Um, again, all the shoes. The attention to detail is lovely with all the little bottles on the shelf. So again, professionally framed. That's that one. And then I went uh, big 
and this was, was this the first one I did Marty Bell this one Morning's Glow this was more or less full coverage it's, it's only it was done on Blue Ada and it should have been done on what does it say and I, I remember changing up the fabric and I but now should it have been stitched on uh, 1990 this pattern um, I can't see where what tape what uh, fabric it should have been done on but I know I changed it because I wanted it to be either bigger or smaller um, I didn't really understand the count of uh, fabric back then so I, I think I made it bigger and I actually wanted it smaller or the other way around I can't see anyway enough enough so that was morning morning glow which is this one and I had them framed exactly as they were on the uh, picture I actually found I found the um, frame so I had them done exactly the same but there's tons and tons and tons of uh, French knots back stitching in the roof for the for the um, thatch so that was that one I love these pictures absolutely love these pictures I've got another one up or two of his designs upstairs ready for stitching but again the, ten the attention to detail I mean it's a true country English cottage with all the flowers bursting through the fence beautiful And then once I'd done that one, I wanted to do another one. So this one is called the Gingerbread Cottage. I did that one. Again, full of full of um, lots of backstitch, loads of French knots. Again, almost full coverage apart from the blue all around here. That's the actual colour of the fabric. So it's just the clouds that are stitched. And again, this, this design was oops, uh, 1990, that one. So, and again, I found, I had it framed at the same place, so I used the same frame, and that's this one. Oh, and this is beautiful, I love it. Gingerbread Cottage. And I used to live in like a, not a thatched cottage, but it was more countrified. So again, this was hanging up in my sitting room. Now it hangs up in my hallway. Um, but I love it. Very, very pretty. And again, a true English country cottage with the thatched roof beautiful lots and lots of French knots my cat's crying outside she wants to come in that's that one and then my last piece that I did in the 90s was even bigger and it was a Teresa Wentzler and it was my final piece that I did back in the 90s I believe and it took me about two and a half years to complete and it is heavy Ooh. and it is Teresa Wentzler's Peacock and I again I can't find the pattern for this but this has got specialty stitches all down the side here is all gold krennic krennic with all specialty stitches lots of beads 
lots and lots and lots of backstitch and blends and I love peacocks anything to do with peacocks and I'm in I love them oh got to go there's company at the door one sec sorry about that um my daughter had a parcel delivered so yeah as I was saying this is full of like the specialty stitches all up the, everywhere all the way down the sides and there are beads in between each stitch um, lots and lots of work went into this and again I absolutely love this design uh, my daughter's put a post-it note on to say that she wants it once when I'm not here anymore <laughs> so uh, again we had it professionally framed I'm not sure how he's done it but it's it's like I've got a thick like a wedge at the back so I think that's to protect the beads so that they're not actually sitting on the glass but there's such a lot of work went into this and it's beautiful even though I say so myself very happy with that so and that was my last piece that I did back then and like I said in my last video, I only got back into it about three years ago. And the first piece that I did when I got back into cross stitch, cross stitch was for a friend. And um, she lives by the seaside in a small place called Hunstanton. And we used to go there when I was a child and we used to be able to get the train. And um, I we went there when I was about five or six. And I was so excited, um, and I'm talking, you know, back in the 50s, 60s, so a long time ago. Um, things were a lot calmer then, well, compared to these days. Um, got off the train, which was right on the seafront, so excited, I just ran off. And that was it, I lost my mum and dad for about two hours, and I'm walking up and down the promenade, crying. Anyway, this man took my hand and we were walking up and down the um, promenade for a couple of hours until we found my mum my mum and dad I was so relieved <laughs> and I told them off <laughs> and it was my fault because I ran off <laughs> oh dear I won't do I can't imagine what I'd do now if, if that happened to me and my grandchildren I'd be mortified but um as I say it seems to be a lot safer those days than it is now Anyway, going back to this, um, my friend lives at Hunstanton and she retired there a few years back now. So I wanted to do a special a gift for her birthday. I think it was her 50th, 50th or 60th. Um, so I, it was from the book um, By the Sea, Cross Stitch By the Sea. And it was this piece. And it says, friends are like seashells. Everyone is different. Everyone is special. But I changed the wording just slightly. And it said, um, the, I, it was the, the last line I changed. And it said, friends are like seashells. Everyone is different. And I said, but you're special. Um, because she is. She's been a friend, dear friend for, well, it's funny, We my first ever job, she worked at the same place, but we weren't friends, we never actually got to know each other. It was when, when I was out shopping in uh, Cambridge, and she bumped, I bumped into her, and she started chatting, and that was back in 1976, something like that. And we've been friends ever since. Um, very dear friend. Um, so yeah, I did that for her. I haven't actually got the I haven't got the um, finished piece here. Obviously, I gave it to her as a gift. So I will insert a picture of what it looks like here. So hopefully you got to see that um, and then 
after that I started I watching Floss Tube and uh, I was greatly inspired by um, Carolyn Mazio. I loved all her projects and I then she inspired me to stitch the Christmas Village which I did and again I haven't got the finished item here of what it looked like and a, maybe a little video I did a short video on it as well so I'll insert that here Um, and at the same time, or fi when I'd finished that of the train, after I'd finished that, I then did one for my son, but I, it was a smaller one because they live in a much smaller house. And I did the Bothy Threads, um, was it called Scandy Tree? So mustn't, I keep leaning on my, sh it's a bit rude, isn't it? I'm sorry. Um, my head's heavy today <laughs> that's my excuse <laughs> just laziness can't hold my head up on my own I've got to prop it up with my hand anyway so this was the Scandi tree and again I haven't got the finished item here but I will put a picture in of that they had it hanging up in their how their home last Christmas and I blinged it up a little bit I put extra um, like this was supposed to be stitched um, I put a, a special, um, like a sequined, I put sequins on it and beads, um, so I blinged it up a little bit more than what it is actually on the picture. And here, this, I put a button as well, but you'll see that when I, I put the picture in. So that was that one. So I think that's all my finishes. Oh no, I also did a, um, again, Carolyn Mazio inspired me to do a birth sampler for my granddaughter and it was uh, by Vivarco. So I'll insert a picture of the finished item here and I had that professionally framed. My cat wants to come say hello. This is Scratch. Scratch the cat. Say hello. Say hello, Scratch. He's, he's a bit of a scaredy cat, aren't you? Who's that in there? Who's that? He was my risk. He turned up on my doorstep and he didn't have any hair. Oh, no, he's off. He didn't have any hair on his back. Poor little thing. Um, he came from the next door neighbour's house because um, they had 17 cats and he escaped. Um, so I rescued him and he's been with me now for six years, five years. And his name's Scratch because he had no hair. So my daughter said, call him Scratch. She obviously scratched it all off. Lots of trains going past this afternoon. So that was that one. What else did I finish? Let me have a look and through my photos. I'm sure I did another one. My FFOs. Where's my library? Um, 
Frosty FFO. Where are you? Uh, so that was that, 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 and that. Yep, no, that's all my finished objects. So the only thing that I've worked on this week is my uh, modern folk uh, art embroidery, which is what I stopped doing this afternoon because, I mean, it's, it's a simple design, but there's quite a bit of counting and uh, I just gave up with it this afternoon. But the last time you saw it, I hadn't done any of this and hadn't done any of this. So all the birds. So I've, I've put the birds in. Well, they're half done. That's uh, the next, that's January, February, March, April, May. This is May. So I started on May. And um, so this afternoon, originally I did this in blue and gold. But once I'd done the heart and the vase, I, it didn't look right. So I took out all the blue and then I had to stitch in the uh, gold. So I redid that this afternoon. And then I made a mistake in the vase. This one, I'd missed a stick, put one stitch across too far. So I had to take that out and redo that. And then this flower, on this side, this flower... I did off this branch so I had to take all of that out and redo that and I thought oh it's time to stop so I might pick it up again this afternoon I just want to get January um, I want to get March finished then I'll put this away uh, because I'm missing some of my other projects now and it, I, I just need to crack on with them so that's the only stitching I've done this week I have done quite a few though. It's quite a lot of stitching in there that I have done. Um, I do actually keep a tally of what I'm doing. Let me see if I can find that on here. My sh I've got a spreadsheet that I made up for myself. So uh, my projects. So far, I have done 80, well, for that, for that part anyway, I have done 12,119 12, stitches so far on that. Um, but I have all my, all my whips on there. You probably can't see that, no. But anyway, I've got, I've got a page for each one. So fruits of plenty I have here and I, I keep, no you can't see that, nope, forget that. So that's it for today folks, um, not too long today I hope, um, I hope you enjoyed seeing my past finishes and hopefully there will be lots more in the future. Uh, I've got so many things to do way way too many for the rest of my life anyway um but i should start a lot and if i don't finish them then at least i'll have been happy starting them so take care enjoy the rest of your week and i'll try and do another one next weekend with a little bit more stitchy update i am planning this week as i've ordered some fabric and a new design for my my quilted books that I was showing you earlier but I've had a different thought on how I'm going to present them so um, I've got some fabric coming for that so I will I am going to be doing some machine embroidery this week um, in the mornings I get I start work at two so I leave work at half I leave to go to work at about half one so I've got from about eight o'clock when I get up till one o'clock to do my crafting um, whatever that may be at the moment it's been cross stitch cross stitch and a little bit more cross stitch but in the evenings when I get home I, I get home around just after 10 because I literally live about three minutes from work and they've opened up a new road so it's really quick for me to get home and then I'll do another couple of hours when I get home from work in the evening and usually go to bed around 12 so hopefully I'll get a bit more done this week um, 
so take care and enjoy the rest of your week stay safe and i'll see you all soon bye